Y'all, it looks like Drake is out here trying to catch some smoke with Kendrick again after he dissed Kendrick's baby mama, Whitney. He's finally stepped over the line again, and he's talking about Whitney. Now, again, I wonder how Kendrick's going to handle this because you know he don't play. Okay, so y'all know Drake and Kendrick been beefing for a minute now. They've been going back and forth, throwing shots at each other. Kendrick coming for Drake's talent, his black card, secret daughter, and accused him of messing around with young girls. Drake, on the other hand, accused Kendrick of being a wife beater, as well as saying, Kendrick's not the father of one of his sons. After getting hit with some truly shady bars on Kendrick Lamar's Meet the Grams, Euphoria, 616 in LA, and Not Like Us, Drake hit back with push-ups. Family Matters, the heart part six. But here's the thing, in Family Matters, Drake spilled some tea, y'all. According to Complex Magazine, Drake dissed K. Dot, accusing his wife of sneaking around with Kendrick's best friend and having a baby on him. Drake revealed that he heard Kendrick's fiance, Whitney Alford, was sneaking around with his best friend Dave Free and had a whole baby on him. But Kendrick was too embarrassed about what happened, so he pretended the boy was his. <laughs> Now in the song, Drake also called out Kendrick's alleged up and down relationship with his fiance, claiming Kendrick not only cheats on Whitney, but puts his hands on her to boost his self-esteem. Now this one was a low blow and Drake definitely did his research because this is not the first time we'll hear about Kendrick allegedly roughing his partner up. For those of y'all who don't know, a couple of years ago, there were rumors of Kendrick getting violent. Now according to the woman who exposed what Kendrick allegedly did, Kendrick came to the Hard Rock Casino with a bunch of people and they ended up getting seven rooms at the hotel. According to the woman, she was working security that day when she was asked to go up to Kendrick's room because someone needed help. I got told to go up to her room to help some girl get down to the casino because she was scared. She ends up being all bloody and everything. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, it was lovely. So I'm like, oh, crap. The woman went on to say that she had to call in her bosses because when she entered the room, she saw the girl who allegedly needed help. She was bloody with half her face blown out. And the girl allegedly revealed that it was a rapper who had done it to her. Because like her, half of her face was like blown out pretty much. Oh, so God. I'm like, oh, lovely. Um, and come to find out, she was with a certain rapper who had assaulted her. It was at this point that the woman who exposed what Kendrick allegedly did went on to say that the girl confessed that it was Kendrick who did it, but allegedly Kendrick and his team made it rain, paying people off to keep it quiet. His first name was Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar? Yeah. There was, there was cops there, and we didn't find out it was Kendrick until later. Allegedly. Now, K. Dot allegedly paying people off to keep it quiet makes sense because just as the allegations were beginning to get attention, there was suddenly no mention of it again. In fact, when Kendrick appeared on The Breakfast Club and they asked him about the alleged incident, they said even though they had heard about it, they couldn't find any information about it when they checked. Oh, wait, this is true. Yeah. When they said you were in Vegas and you beat some guy bloody and you did something to some female yeah. and they said they had evidence and all of this and then I never heard anything about it again. At the time, Kendrick explained it away, saying the reason they couldn't find any information on it was because the story was made up by someone. He claimed it was foolishness and ignorant, even going so far as to say the person who made the claims owed him an apology. But get this, Kendrick never filed charges against the person for the allegations. Yeah, because it's foolishness. Mm -hmm. That's the most ignorant stuff I ever heard made up. On, I was like, on the, on the did that? I doubt it. And you know, that person who ever made that up owes an, an apology. And that's not all. We know what happened after Drake came for Whitney in Family Matter. Kendrick went off on him in Not Like Us, basically ruining any chance of Drake ever being taken seriously as a rapper. And then the music video for Not Like Us came out and Kendrick was not done trolling Drake. I mean, the entire music video was basically just him coming for Drake. From the owl pinata, he destroys the crip walking with Whitney and ending the video with an owl in a cage was brutal, y'all. This fan pointed it out saying Kendrick Lamar's whole music video was just him effing with Drake. He was doing push-ups, destroying an owl pinata, crip walking with Whitney, and ends it off with a shot of an owl in a cage. I know Drake mad as hell. L-M-F-A-O.
In this shot, Kendrick is addressing what Drake said on Family Matters. Whitney does the blood walk while wearing a tank top, also known as a wife beater. Drake called Kendrick a wife beater. Another fan added to it. Well, it looks like Drake decided he was done being quiet on the matter because he decided to throw shade at Kendrick and Whitney again. After Kendrick's music video went live, Drake released the latest collection of his October's very own fashion brand, and y'all will not believe what's on that collection. Drake dropped photos of the new collection, and the fans quickly clocked that he has a wife beater in his collection. And to make it worse, he had a woman who looked exactly like Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, wearing the wife beater. Fans commented on how weird it was like this fan who said, starting to think Aubrey wishes he was Kendrick.